Don't you apologize. Don't you apologize, Millie. Don't do it. Don't do it. I totally understand. You guys be just be super safe um, going to see your family. Um, yeah, y'all just be safe and have fun. Have lots of fun. Eat lots of good food for me. Um, this is it's gonna be a pretty short stream today. It's just gonna probably be about maybe two hours or so, two two and a half hours. Um, we're just gonna kind of get through because like what I read yesterday was that there's gonna be like an hour, an hour and a half or so of cutscenes and dialogue. So not really missing much. Um, so we're we're just gonna kind of vibe, chill, eat some snacks, and watch some I guess anime. Today. <laughs> so and the vod will be available if you want to watch it. Uh, if you guys want to watch it later. Um, whenever you guys have downtime, so it's, it's, it's not a big Cactus, how are you doing? Plush, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? And Merry Christmas! If you're already in, like, Australia, New Zealand, anywhere else where it's actually, like, already Christmas, Merry Christmas. I know it's, like, uh, becoming not Christmas in Japan. You ate all your chocolate pie? I can't offer you any chocolate pie because the chocolate pie is my dad's. Because I got us a slice, I got me a slice of Sopapia cheesecake, which I don't share that. <laughs> I don't share. Um, and then I got him a chocolate pie. Or a piece of chocolate pie. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas. It's Christmas morning? Okay. I know, like, it's Christmas morning for you guys. I know yesterday or last night it was already. Christmas in Japan. So I think Japan is like 16 hours ahead of me. That sounds right. Yes, because it'd be like 7 in the morning. 8 in the morning. You have snacks somewhere? Just grab your snacks, grab your blankies. We are going to watch some anime. And talk. Um, mostly the dialogue. I have water. Uh, I just ate my breakfast burrito from yesterday. So... Very excited. I'm very excited, but also very, very nervous about like what's gonna happen. Like I was like I was debating really or not whether or not to stream today. Cause I was like, uh, I didn't sleep overwhelmingly that great last night. But then I was also like, but I really, really want to play. So, and I'm I'm having like two days off now, so I think I think I'll be okay um, with all of that. Um, so. That is a mood cactus. So, oh, you know what? I wonder if I should go do that now. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I just ate my breakfast burrito. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm, anyways. So, I don't know if you guys know, like, the Brock's, like, chocolate oranges. Um, you know, where they're, like, little chocolate balls, but they have, like, they're, it's like chocolate infused with orange and then like it's in the shape of like an actual orange and you can peel back the chocolates I bought three of those I let my dad try like one of them because he's like he's never I don't think he's ever had them and so I'm like I bought three of them if you want some just let me know and I need K but it sounds amazing let me see if I can find a picture on the internet because they're like really good No, I don't want to go to Amazon. No, I just want the pic- I just need a picture. Don't take me to Amazon. Thank you. There we go. I'm like, I just need a photo. Please stop trying to take me to Amazon. That one would be good. Okay, here we go. A PNG. Thank you. Get out of here. I bought three of these because I'm a little tubby, 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 Let's change this image out for the moment. I feel like I'm kidding. 
Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Delicious. I bought three of these. Cost me 12 bucks. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. But consumerism? Yeah. Well, Tubby Z. Yeah, Tubby League. Exactly. Little Tubby Tubby McTubberson. But they're delicious. I absolutely adore these things. Yeah, they're so good. Um, if you have a Walgreens, I know that they sell them at Walgreens. Um, like my, the, there's a Walgreens that I went to, I stopped by with my grandma. And like, literally, the, like, I was looking through all the candies, and most of the candies are, you know, like, Reese's, Cinnabams, and all that, naturally were sold out. But then, like, they had, like, three rows just full of these things. And I'm like, I'm gonna come back whenever, like, the holidays and Christmas is over, so I can buy them all on when, like... There are like, on clearance. Cause I want them. I am in the tubby league as well. <laughs> That's our food club. It's called T Tubby League. Merry Christmas, Xerxes. How are you doing today? I would have noticed. Yeah, you can buy them on Amazon. You, you can buy them on Amazon and stuff. Oh my god, guys. Okay, do you guys have your snacks? Do you have your drinks? Do you have your blankies? Do you have your little stuffed animals? Would you, you make sure you got everything because we're going to be here for like two hours watching anime. I was tempted my chocolate discounts for Christmas. Yes. Okay. Okay, we ready? Y'all ready? I'm going to turn up the... Oh, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. After is real, yeah, after. It's like, um, what is it, like Easter and stuff like that? Whenever you get all the good stuff. Okay, we need to wash this cord. Um, I'm doing good, Xerxes, I'm doing good. Um, so, what we're doing today... Oh, I need to turn this up, because I turned down my audio last night, so it's a cheap thing. Um, so what we're doing today is kind of, um... So I finished the boss battle yesterday in the game, and I was reading through a guide kind of thing, and they're like, yeah, now you get to enjoy like an hour and an hour and a half or so of like cutscenes and dialogue and stuff like that. So I, did, you know, I just kind of saved it for today. Um, so then when we, we can do a short stream, we get to watch all of that, we don't have to do it, and then next week we can get back into the game and stuff like that. So. I don't know how close we are to being done with this game, and I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Because I'm, like, on the edge of my seat, like, is this it? Is this it? Is this it? And I'm, like, really excited. Like, I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready, chat. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. Are you ready? We don't need to equip Chris Angel. Okay. There's the audio. I'm so, I'm like, so nervous and anxious and excited all at the same time, and it's really clashing together. But how, how is your Christmas going, Xerxes? Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. Let me know how audio is. No dozing. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Come on, cooperate. What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? So. Hi, Darkling. How are you doing today? I'm only going to talk whenever, like, there's, like, these points. Like, I don't want to necessarily talk over any of the cutscene, but let me know how audio is, um, and whatnot, because I definitely want you guys to be able to hear this as well. Okay, I'm not in the way of anything. So, your 
you're not that dumb. Which is good. Because we get to take as much time as we need. <coughs> Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the work. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? You should know your place. <laughs> Sign here. Oh. It's a confession under your name. See, I need your hand to sign this, but I don't care if you end up losing a leg. Quick, right with your left hand, and won't count. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. They only pin this one on me because I'm already a criminal. Fuck. You. <laughs> What's too much? Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Okay, now I do want to say something here is that after this entire... I want to know where this particular cutscene is, like, because this is what I remember from the anime, and this is why I wanted to play the game. This right here, this, 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 this whole part right here. And so I'm, like, big nervous, big fucking excited to see where this is going to go, because this game gives you the good ending, while the show gives you the bad ending. And I am big nervous right now. And excited, and I kind of really want some chocolate now that we talked about it. Besides, you prosecutor Sinejima, there's a call from your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Blech. Ah, I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an in interrogation. I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Uh, prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> Is for your own sake. His methods are unknown. After all, we don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. Ew, it's kind of like the whole, oh, we'll make you understand kind of thing. <gasps> what are we doing here? Are we sleeping? <laughs> well done on making it this far, inmate. Now that you have traversed your long, perilous recollection, you truly have entered the present. The effects of that drug are gonna wear Yay. off soon. This is your golden opportunity. You must grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. The evil influence who wishes you dead is fast approaching. 
If you want to win this unreasonable game. If you wish to take back your stolen future. Recall the bonds you formed with your allies. I've got chills. And grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. <laughs> Thanks, Igor, for just laughing at me. I appreciate it. That is so much help. I see. So that's what led to your ending up here. Achievement! What a disappointing end to the hero of justice. Well. Okay, I thought that was a thing. I thought I made an achievement thing to where it would just bring up the achievement emote. Now I'm mad. Hold on. Yo, we all have to wait. Sorry. Nope, we need to be me. Aw. Uh... Watch it not just be on. Okay, there's that one. Is that under the bot? That's achievement score. No, I just suck apparently. I didn't change it over. My bad. Apparently, I just never changed it. Hold on. No, I just never changed it over because I suck. I, I was go I meant to do it and I never did it. <laughs> That seems accurate. Now you can do it. Because then you have this. And then you have this. Hey. That's also extremely wrong, by the way. Okay. Let's go back here. Okay. I still can't believe it. But I now have a general idea of the methods you used for your crimes. That's cool, we still don't know. There's much more I'd like to ask, but my allotted time is nearly up. I do have a suggestion, uh -huh. though. Care to strike a deal? If you cooperate with me, I'll consider lightening your sentence. I have a responsibility to solve this case. I will win, even if it means brokering a deal with you. Your operation was leaked and you failed to change my heart. There's no point in being obstinate now. Did we though? Did we though? You've corrupted the order of this country and caused an uprising against its very existence. You'll most likely be given life imprisonment or the death penalty. Unless you accept my proposal. Going forward, I will read a list of people who are closest to you <gasps> in this case. Tell me honestly whether or not the following are involved Ooh! with the Phantom Thieves. First, the friend who you've been with since the day you transferred to Shujin, Ryuji Sakamoto. Sakamoto. Please don't ever say his name again. One of the victims of the Kamoshida case, On Takamaki. Takamaki. Ichiryusai Matarame's pupil, Yusuke Kitagawa. The daughter of Wakaba Ishiki, Futaba Sakura. Not bad. 
the heiress to the Okumura Foods legacy and daughter of its CEO. Haru I mean, some Okumura. of these names you can get right, but some of them, damn, they're really out there. And the frequently probing student council president of Shujin Academy, Makoto Nijima. I have chills. Those are your accomplices in the Phantom Thieves case, are they not? So you won't sell out your friends. Then let me change the question. I find it hard to believe that high schoolers could have pulled off these crimes by themselves. Were there not others outside of your direct group who encouraged your crimes or lent their aid? Not to repeat myself, but remember that your life will be forfeit if your sentence is not lightened. You had the cooperation of people outside your group, did you not? Can you tell me about them? I see. So you won't speak a word about either your teammates or your collaborators. Do you even understand the position I'm so that scared in? I'm fucking this up. Let's discuss one other person. What about Goro Akechi. There are reports that he was acting alongside the Phantom He was with well. us for like three days. How did you guys find that out? Might he be a part oh, of your God, team no. too? Nope. So Goro Akechi wasn't one of you. Very well. So be it. You clearly have no intention of nope. bargaining with me. I don't know a thing. Plead the fifth. It's not how it works over there in Japan, but... Even now, you're still acting as though you're a hero of justice. Your teammates have sacrificed you in order to escape, yet you wish to defend no their honor? No one sacrificed anybody. You're telling me that to get into my mind so I attempt to rat them out. And that's stupid. Why won't you talk about Because them? a good leader protects their pack. Like, ooh. Okay, chat out. How did we get here? So we've kind of always been here. What we've been doing while playing the game is going through, like, our memories. And we're, like, building up to this point. So we are now officially, like, in the present. We are now playing through. And so now we have, like, I don't know. I think we've been, what, ten minutes or so through some of the cutscenes and whatnot. We have, like, an hour and a half worth of cutscenes and dialogue to get through. And that's not even me getting distracted by shit. So th that's, how, that's how we're here. I think, I want to say it's a dirty fucking tactic. It goes against justice is more probably correct. Don't be ridiculous. You're not the one to decide such things. And why are you the one to decide such things? Justice. Yeah, you call me getting the, at my ass beat justice? Then tell me. What is this justice you speak of? Saving others? What an awfully simple response. You continue to stand firm. Are you implying that we have no evidence on you? You're right. We have nothing. And That's it what I went with, Your yeah. story sounds like a fairy tale. Yeah, it's like, you can't, like, forget, like, you can forget, but you can't, for, you know, you don't have to forget. Kind of, like, ordeal. So... I think saving others was the best option, too. But many people have fallen victim to this. We need to learn the truth. <sighs> the truth, huh? 
I don't even know what's right anymore. And it's all due to your strange story. After all this, you're still... Ooh, the drug's starting to wear off. Are you listening? The side effects of the truth serum should be wearing off. I won't be deceived by such a poor act. I feel like I'm forgetting something important. I realized it too then. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. No! <gasps> hey. Oh my god! Can you hear me? Is it catchy the real killer? <gasps> Bitch! It seems your mind oh, is Oh, I got chills. Up. I got chills! But unfortunately, my time Okay, is so Darkling, what Morgana was talking about was um in the first time we met Akechi. Because he was like, Morgana was like, there's no way he knew we were talking about pancakes unless he heard me. And that, and, and, and we were talking about Akechi at the radio station. Or the TV station, wherever the hell we were. And the, the first time we met Akechi. Woo! <gasps> Although I find your story to be quite interesting, I won't be able to speak uh -huh. with you any longer. Huh? What are you getting at? That's right. No matter the results of this case, I won't be receiving credit. I even had to call in a large favor just to conduct this interrogation. you to look into, go. Nijima mentioned a special interrogation room, didn't she? Good. It looks like we can make this work if we lure them there. Sneaky, sneaky, sequats! <laughs> hey. Hey, are you listening? Our time's up. We're done talking here. Ah! Okay, I'm so scared. Holy fuck, I'm so scared. Do you mean this interrogation room? Why wouldn't I know about it? What an odd thing to ask. Anyhow, there's one last thing I want to ask you. There's something that's been bothering me for some time now. Recently, I was removed from my post as head of this investigation and was told to remain Mood. on standby. A short while later, I received word you were caught in the act, within some bizarre phenomenon. But that was all I was told. You were told someone sold you out, correct? If that's true, who could it have been? Don't you have I do. any idea? I do now. I didn't want to believe it, but I do. Suspicions were true in the end. Still, to think his true intention was to sell us out. All that's left is to figure out a way to hand it over. It's all up to you. I want to fall it off. Okay then. okay then. Giving him the phone without arousing suspicion will be easier said than done. <gasps> we fucking planted the phone? We're too smart for high school. <laughs> we're, too, we're too smart for high school, chat. Look at this. Giving him the phone without arousing suspicion will be easier said than done. We planted the phone that had the app on it. We'll be counting on you to pull this one off. What's wrong? 
Might you have an idea as to who sold you out? <gasps> what this. do you recall? I got some. Hold on. I need some chocolate and a shot of whiskey. I won't allow things to end like this. I don't care. I need a chocolate and a shot of whiskey at this point. Cause damn. Uh, the phone. You mean this? I've been told the lock on it is quite complicated, but it's only a matter of time until it's cracked. What's so important about this smartphone? Are you going to unlock it and show me the data? Okay. Let's let her sleep. She hasn't slept for days while she's been getting that app ready. Now we gotta figure out a way to show him the phone. Makoto and the others should have told you. I'm talking about the true culprit here. You know, the traitor. Hey, what are you trying to get at here? And what about this smartphone? Oh! The traitor? We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? This bitch! Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that realm, my task will be simple. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. Please. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? I know that voice. Yup. What do you? <gasps> My God. I know, honey. We all had that uh, uh, realization, epiphany, as you would say, just about thirty seconds ago, too. You're referring to him. I like how you? none of us are using his name except me. Trust me. What are you plotting? I can't even begin to fathom the it. The truth will seek it out. Um. It appears my time is up. This is as far as our conversation can go. This will be my last involvement with this case. <laughs> Very well. I've listened to your whole story, so I may as well play along. Ah, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And that honest look in your eyes. I know, are we just kind of- I used to view the world the same way too. Are we all just kind of panicking right now? <laughs> are we all just kind of going like that? I'm not gonna cry. I'm like on the I'll edge of my seat. I'll my bet on you. I just need to show him the phone, right? Me. I feel as Sai finally understands me. Thank God I'm not the only one. So I'm sitting here like, I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of judgment, granting thee infinite power. Fucking wood. Hey. Right. You can All now right. use Satan. Great. The most powerful persona of the judgment arcana. Great. I'll be going now. 
Fucking rude. What good will this do though? Well, I don't know. You a catchy gun? Why are you here? Why do you seem so surprised? I needed my director to step in to get access, and I was directly responsible for this case. How did you get approval? For the same reason you did. I am heading up the investigation team after all. It's only natural I'd have the right to interrogate our culprit as well, don't you think? <gasps> they assigned you command? <laughs> that was a joke, of course. I'm merely here to assist with the public security interrogation. I am surprised it's this far underground, though. There aren't any others incarcerated here, yes? Nobody would ever know if things got a little violent. If I remember correctly, didn't you say there was another culprit besides the Phantom Thieves? That was but a lie I spread <gasps> to set them up. You little bitch! Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I had deceived you too, sai son. After all, if you wish to trick your enemies, you must first trick your allies. Ah! So it was you. You're the one who sold out the Phantom Thieves. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? <gasps> My god. You're referring to him, aren't you? Is there a problem? There's a lot of problems, my dude. Akechi-kun, does this phone look familiar to you? Hmm? Excuse me? <sighs> what is this phone? It belonged to the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I believe you'll need it for your investigation. Not personally. I was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves myself, remember? True. This is undoubtedly a great accomplishment. Good luck in there. Now this can go two ways. Foolish woman. Now there's this can go two ways. Either he's deceiving fucking everybody and he's the greatest actor on the fucking planet and he's actually on our side. Or this man really did sell us out and I'm gonna punch him in this row. There's two ways this is gonna go. But that looks creepy. I know, I'm sitting here like, what's the truth? And I'm just like, I'm gonna scream at my my monitor. I know, he is light. I knew it. Punch him in the throat, we'll have to wait and see, Jeremy. May I ask that you accompany me? Going in unarmed to interrogate a murderer makes me uncomfortable. What are you? Go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to. Didn't fucking see that one coming. I owe you for all of this. Thanks. Jeremy, thank you for that host. That's right. You and your little friends were vital to our plan, and now it will be completed. Your popularity truly was quite stunning. That just made using you all the more worthwhile. Akechi has unveiled his true identity. My bond with Akechi has grown deeper. What the fuck? <laughs> has it really though? Do you really think my bond with this man has really <laughs> has really leveled up? Like are you are you sure? I think it's actually decreased in my opinion, but okay. Whatever you all want, right. game. It's, I didn't make it. I'm I need to go get chocolate. <gasps> Shh. Shh. <laughs> I know, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> this is a part of the anime! Have you finally pieced it all together? Yeah. <laughs> 
case closed. This is how your job. You're a dick. This ends. Also, that was very well played, Rage. Just so you know, that's how the anime ended. Nothing mm -hmm. else. Oh no, there's something else within the anime, I think, but I can't remember. That does explain why he wears gloves all the time, too. <laughs> I legit rage thought that was part of the, the anime. Shido san. My job is So this man is like a hitman. Yeah, it didn't scare me. I just thought it was like legit part of the thing. I was like, not now. <laughs> so he was thinking about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some chocolate. I'll be right back. I I I need some chocolate. This is. Woo! Does anybody need chocolate? I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah, no, it didn't scare me. It was just like it was really good timing though because like I was on the edge of my seat and it just it didn't scare me, but it, it was like I thought it was like part of the anime. Cause it was like such a perfectly timed screen. But only if you like these. Oh yeah. That's what I think, Darkling. That's what I think. Like, or maybe um, the officer maybe had like blanks and it was all faked, but I don't know. I don't know. I have told you not to call me by name. I don't like this little bitch. Never had them, but I'll try them. It's good. It's they're like um, just chocolate in the shape of like an orange. And they're chocolate orange, if you like chocolate and orange together. Regardless, all that's left is to deal with the remnants. So fun. The continued deaths of these teenagers would be a bit much, don't you think? I considered making it appear they had a falling out, but that would only amplify public frenzy. It would be best to have each of them meet with an unfortunate accident once the storm blows over. Mary, thank you so much for them biddies. Mm. I did have a question for you, Rage. Because you did, um, resub. I forgot to ask you the other day. Was that you get your name on, like, a little bobble like this? And I didn't know if you wanted, like, glitter or confetti or snow. I could attempt to paint one for you. Uh, I've made a snowman, and I've done some other stuff, but just let me know, and uh, I'll make you one. I'll put it up on my wall. Is there any possibility they'll want to avenge yep. their leader? No chance. They're nothing but cattle anyway. They have no backbone without his guidance. They have a lot of backbone. 
I will keep my eye on them just in case, though. Snow, you got it. Okay. I'll be counting on you. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. An apt punishment for obstructing our work. Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find No, it. don't touch Morgana! Understood. Though I doubt there's anything to worry about. It's merely a cat, after Ooh. all. Maybe he doesn't know too much about Morgana. More importantly, they should be dealing with the suicide right about now. Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I'll need to prepare my comments on the matter. I must be prepared to deal with it on my end as well. Beyond that, what of the director of the Special Investigations Unit? Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime soon. All right, throw a punch at him. We got an achievement. What was all that about showing him this phone? The phantom thief Alibaba? Who is this? Right, even though he was in on it. The all the loose ends, yeah, it kind of reminds me of like heavy rain and stuff. I am Alibaba, a member of the Phantom Thieves. I inquire as to your justice. I have Sign like Mishima. chills. How do they know I have this? Goro Akechi is evil. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! He didn't come to interrogate the captured phantom thief. He came to kill him. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. Hey, Reyes, how are you doing? Thank you so much for those biddies. I appreciate it. Don't trust the guard either. He's an accomplice as well. Now then, I'll tell you detailed steps to take. You must save him. You want me to You're save the him? only one that can get inside. And who's inside, so yeah. <sighs> Is she in the metaverse now? Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Huh? What is it? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. Don't go in there. <laughs> anyway, what brings you here? I thought you were done with I your forgot business. papers. Did anyone else stop by? <sighs> Nobody? Th there'd be no reason for anyone else to come down here. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after. I think so too, Darkling. So it's all true. Of course it's true. Is something the matter? It's a catchy gun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't be able to make it down today. Huh? 
I've been asked to handle things instead. Y you? But... You know, <gasps> if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any evidence. I suggest you go into hiding at once if you value your <gasps> she's life. She's trying to play like, you know, she's part of their team now. I know, the flashback's like five seconds ago. Y yes, ma'am. And don't say a word of what transpired here. Trust nobody. Forget this ever happened. And now we return to our continued report. This morning, the police have announced that they've detained a suspect who may in fact be the leader of the Phantom Thieves group. The suspect is reported to be a young man. Can I get you to look over here? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? So he got caught. That group sure was something. It, yeah. So the next shoot got me thinking. How about we have you do an idol thing, you know? That cool? What a surprise. To think that the one behind all this is just a minor. But considering how quickly they announced his arrest, the police must surely be confident in the outcome of this case. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Huh? Goodness, look at you now! It's been a while, Ryuji! Huh? Uh, yeah. You stopped visiting so abruptly, everyone was worried about you. Uh, it's uh, your second year, right? Are you still doing track and field? I'd love to see you run again. Also, the young man continues to remain silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him... I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seemed stumped for once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do oh, as normal God, get ready! Here they come! With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. Hey, Twinkie! How are you doing today? Normal. Thank you so much for that raid! He's just a high school student. How do you think he was contacting the others? I can't, I can't talk! But welcome in, Lumpy, Fuzzy, Sarah, how are you doing? I hope I said your name right. it seems the Phantom Thieves' most recent targets have gone comatose. Actual harm has been done here. Given the lack of physical... Thank you so much for that follow! Regardless, the police are looking into attempted murder charges. You never turned it in? That's quite the surprise. Fuzzy, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. I thought I lost it, it this whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, your grades are excellent. And your student council president. I'm sure you'll be admitted anywhere you apply. That one phantom thief should have followed your example. You hear? It seems he was caught. Some high schooler. I wonder why you turned to a life of crime. I'm doing good. Just kind of vibing because, um... I played this game yesterday, and then it told me when I ended that we'd have like an hour and a half worth of like cutscenes and dialogue, so we were just kind of going through that. Because of his previous record, he had to leave his hometown. Perhaps his motive lies there. I believe your father can rest. Why is this man still here? That phantom thief could never have changed anything. Only a handful of people are qualified to alter the world. So you've been coming home late. That's what I've heard. I <laughs> heard you know. We have breaking news. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. It's we're playing for Persona 5 the game. Details have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. This station will continue to report any further updates as they arrive. So yeah, we're playing Persona 5 the game, but like an hour and a cutscenes in dialogue, so we're just kind of going through that, and you guys came in at the start of a cutscene, so. It can't be. I'm so sorry if I'm like trying to talk when it's like low, so that way we're not missing anything. Because I don't think I can pause it. Yeah, it's so good. Has anybody played Persona 5? What does that mean? What does that mean? Ooh, we played somebody. We played a catchy. Yeah. Yeah. 
It would seem as though you have been. Okay, killed. now I can talk. Thank you, thank you so much for that Ray Twinkie. I appreciate it so much. Um, I hope you are having a very fantastic um, Christmas Eve. Um, I hope everyone is. I hope you guys get what you guys want for Christmas. Um, I know Ryuji, do you want to maybe explain to us? But we are playing Persona 5 the game. Um, they do throw in like the episode cutscenes. It seems like from time to time, and I have to scream at YouTube that it's not the actual anime that we're watching, please, because it gets mad as hell at me. Um. So yeah, what are you doing? Um. Let's see. Uh, you have not, Twinkie. I so recommend you playing this game. It's a very long game. I've been going for about a hundred and almost eighty hours now. Um. But this game is gorgeous. Um, there's certain points where I get frustrated, but that's a me thing, I feel. It might, I don't know if it resonates with others, but, you know. But anyways, um, I forgot to do my intro. Hi, my name is ZD. I play a lot of survival horror games. I do throw a variety from time to time. I am an achievement hunter. I tell dad jokes, and I'm from Texas, and I have severe ADHD. So please, 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 please bear with me while I jump from subject to subject to subject to subject. Uh, cause I, I tend to do that a lot. Um, while I talk, I'm gonna turn that down for a minute. Um, so yeah. Anime talk? What were you guys talking about? Like, what, what, like, watching anime? What kind of animes everybody was watching? Cause I was watching, I haven't finished it. I've got, like, two or three episodes left. Um, of the Food Wars. I've been watching that anime. And then I wanna start, I need to start up watching, um, Naruto uh, Shippuden again, and then yeah, and then I want to watch. I want to rewatch this one, and then I want to watch Dongan Rumpa again, and then I want to watch um, uh, Neo. The world ends with me. <laughs> we were thirsting over monsters. <laughs> For coming here, so it's a good change of pace. Lols, Twinkie. Lols. But how have you been? How was Stardew? I have a friend who just started that game. I say just. She's been playing it for about maybe two months now. Two, three months. And uh, she is obsessed and she's almost at end game stuff already. But this game is like an emotional roller coaster. I've been literally sitting on my the edge of my seat for like 45 minutes now i just i'm <laughs> but welcome everyone so sorry i hope i didn't miss anybody um you're playing a run of stardew where you can't use any tools yeah talking about tiki so kind of hectic oh my god that sounds like a very hard challenge run so how do you like plant so if you don't do it, can you have a friend come in and like, and like, um, oh, we'll see, no, it would be, you know, you'd be able to plant, but you can't water them. So that, that would be difficult. No multiplayer? Oh. I'm gonna have to go back and watch a VOD Twinkie, because that sounds, that sounds very interesting. You can use water retaining soil. Ah, oh, okay, I didn't know that was a thing. That's true. And you can hoe the ground with bombs? No way. Ah, oh, okay. Forging, so yeah, okay. That's so interesting. I like that. That's a very interesting. I like to see how like people come up with like different challenge runs. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I didn't mean, I hope I said Sarah's name right. Lumpy, Fuzzy, I wonder, have you guys ever played this game? Making wild seeds is more profitable than selling the forge for today? Interesting. Yeah. So, it's so cool. I like seeing all the different challenge runs. It's like um, seeing all the different challenge runs for like Resident Evil and stuff.
But why were you killed? Oh yeah, we were killed. Why did you have to die? I don't know. Do you no? remember? It seems you forgot an important fact while your consciousness what? was hazy. Indeed, your death was a necessity for your escape from certain doom. Now, we are at in-game stuff in case you guys want to be, like, weary of spoilers. So, I understand. <laughs> what a tremendous... <laughs> agreed, Cactus. Agreed. Akechi's a little bitch. How might you be capable of executing such a feat? Well, then, let us rouse the memories which are missing. We about to find out, Darkwing. The first time I said something was off. That's right, it was during the school festival. Hey, they're going. You realized it too, then. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. My thoughts exactly- I literally have chills, y'all. It was your social studies trip. We met him in the hallway of that TV station. There's no way that this is the first time he's heard my voice. This whole deal feels sketchy. Yeah, that was my plan too. Okay. Let's get everyone on the same page. Yeah, the right cat's away. talking. It's more gone to the kitty cat meow meows. <sighs> Sorry, the music is a vibe in this game. There's something else we want you to look into. One more person has been on our mind. If it's possible, I want to eavesdrop on their phone conversation. Hmm, that'll be tough. I agree. Hmm, I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. So it's impossible even for you. Say it was impossible. I didn't say it was impossible. I just said it was gonna be hard. <laughs> oh, the music is totally a vibe. I love this game. The music is so good. You'll see me anytime there's a point like where there's a battle and the battle music starts playing. I will literally stop, sing one part of it, and then continue on. I love the music in this game. Mm, okay, I've got a plan. That's perfect. See, I've actually picked that up to where instead of going like like that, like go away kind of thing, you go like that. I do that. I train my dog to do that to where I'm like, and he'll come here. Like he'll come to me where I'm like, like that. He'll come here instead of like, you know, like waving to go away. He'll just come there. It's really cute. Don't worry. Well, y'all didn't tell later. me any of the fucking details, so I missed it. This Do you want to share with the rest of the class? Because some of us are still out of the loop. <laughs> tell me the plan.
I see. So we're going to use this place. It'll be a gamble. I think it's gonna work. You can't tell a thing. Can't tell what? Nah. It seems you know the fuck I don't. <gasps> of course, Twinkie, of course, of course. Do what you need to do after stream. I totally understand. Thank you so much again for that raid. And you enjoy your lurk and your milk and cookies. Can I have a cookie? Are we taking turns being salty? Probably. This game is Well, thank over God yet. for telling me that. There are still things that must thank be God. done. My memories are starting to become clearer, that's right. This is what really happened to me at that moment. Share with the rest of the class, please. Okay, shut up. Shh, no talk. Don't worry, I was telling myself to shut up. Not you guys. Huh? Yeah, I love to save my progress. I have no idea what the fuck's going on, is it okay? <laughs> I'm like on the edge of my seat. I'm like, <laughs> so it's just that. I didn't raise the fan of these. I didn't expect him to commit suicide. But then think about it this way, though. Basically, he faked his own death kind of concept. We still don't know how he did it, but, like, faking his death? No one would suspect him. I know, that's sussy about those. Accurate. I was like, would you like to load? I'm exhausted. Mood. It feels like my consciousness is away, about to fade away. <sighs> I love depictions of Shibuya Square for some reason. Yeah, apparently this one is like an extremely accurate one too as well, Twinkie. Feels more iconic than Times Square? True. Well, like, we don't, and we also don't have a lot of games that like naturally does you know, Times Square. Even, like, whenever I played, like, Zombie and, you know, like, Trafalgar Square and stuff like that in London, like, I knew more of that than Times Square kind of thing. Because I think the, the Division was the only one that was really based in, like, the New York area. I never played GTA 4. I don't play the GTA games. Don't fall asleep until we reach our destination. Oh! <gasps> Bitch saved us. Are you listening? Could this be the effect of the drug wearing off? The memories I thought were gone are starting to come back. Oh, I haven't... I haven't played any of the new Spider-Man. I haven't played any of the new Spider-Man. I did play the old Spider-Man, like the Tobey Maguire one. Back in like 2005 or something. Yeah. I, I don't have a PlayStation 4, so I can't I can't play any of those games. I only have a PS3. <laughs> can't be here for long to say Merry Christmas. Please have a great day and tomorrow much love. All right, Inferno, thank you so much for stopping in and saying hi, and you have a very Merry Christmas as well, and I hope you have a fantastic um, rest of today and tomorrow. I hope you get lots of presents and whatever you wanted, um, and you get to spend a lot of time with your family and your friends and all that good stuff. You have a good one. Seeing Hong Kong in movies is a trip for probably T and I. Oh, I bet. I bet it was, like, really interesting to, to see, like, Hong Kong in movies. Um. Do 
there was a was it? there's like a, there's a two YouTubers I used to watch. I don't make videos anymore, but there was one time they were playing um Akiva's Trip. I know it's on Steam, but they were playing Akiva's Trip because one of them got the game in Japan and then came back and played it on his Xbox. And, like, he got so excited because he's like, oh my god, that's the actual place I walked by there. And, like, he was, like, really excited about everything. So I could totally see that. That's all I can name off the top of my head, so you're kind of right. Yeah, like, I don't really know. I mean, like, I know, like, The Division um, and stuff like that, I think. But I don't, I don't remember where. I don't think it was naturally, like, in New York. Like, I can't think of many games that are just in New York. Like... Yeah, I can't even remember it. Well, no, that was like, I think... That was more Boston. I don't remember the- I know- I don't remember where The Last of Us took place. Each version is slightly off, and they emphasize different things to make it cleaner. Ah, oh. I mean, technically, yeah. Assassin's Creed does have old New York, so no Times Square, but it does have New York in it. Yeah, which is, it's so funny to see that, like, so many games have, like, what, like, we, like, recognize. It's crazy. Many times they have more lanterns and street signs. Oh. Anyway, we need to talk about how to get out of the situation. Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. It's on a completely different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was a true culprit behind the mental shutdowns. No, that's Philadelphia. I got nothing. Yeah, that's like, The Division's the only one that I know of that took place in New York. That's the only game that I've played that's taken place in like, New York. Doctor Strange ends in Hong Kong is quite well, but it's eerily clean. Really? I've never watched Doctor Strange and I kind of want to because I like Benedict Cumberbatch as an actor. His offer to assist us was simply a plot to frame the Phantom Thieves and kill ZD. If we go into Sis's palace, as he suggests, we'll likely be met with a large ambush of police forces. To think he would be this far gone. I know now what it means to feel chilled down my spine. Oh, Vampire the Masquerade 2. I have that game. Haven't played it, just googling. Okay. I mean, that's fair. Because it's like, now that you know your curiosity is peaked, that you want to like actually kind of find out. This is so fascinating. It really, really is. Like, to see, like, the different, like, instances and places that, like, people tend to gravitate towards for games is crazy. Like, I know Texas is pretty big as well. Like, oh, The Wolf Among Us? Okay. I haven't played that game, but I want to. Furthermore, he wishes to bring a police squad from reality into the palace. If the eight of us can enter at once, it's not inconceivable to think a larger group is possible. It may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. So this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us. He made us go He made us go after Okumura, and then once we triggered the change of heart, he killed him. And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time. <gasps> The whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac. Well, it seems more he was more like a hitman kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, Twinkie. A lot in Canada, a lot in Japan, and a lot in Texas. 
And there's a few out in California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, though. It's just freaking nuts. Just to kind of see, like, you know, how, where, like, all the different games take place. It's just, it's such a cool concept. Oh, really? The last Pokemon game I played was Emerald. Come on, we gotta take that bastard to catch you down. Isn't that recording? We got enough proof to do it? No, a catchy is merely a tool. His orders come from elsewhere. The grand mastermind behind this all. An unimaginable fiend capable of arranging the murder of a suspect of a police station. Unless we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted, even if we defeat a catchy. But what means do we have of learning his identity? We'll have to make Akechi say it. So once we do, that mastermind will likely eliminate us. I think that will be the case eventually regarding, regardless of whether or not we learn his identity. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. Does Elf technically count? I know there's an elf game. I don't know if it shows Times Square, though. They could hire... Have you played those? I have not played the Mafia games yet. I do have Mafia 2. I'm trying to get my hands on, like... I'm trying to wait to see if, like, the games with gold is going to give us Mafia 1 before I buy it. Yeah, elf, like the movie. There's actually an elf game for, like, Game Boy Advance and stuff. I wish I didn't know that, but I do. That's true, but I guess it's more present time now, because I think we're reliving a memory. So I guess now it would be to say that would that would work now. Yeah, I guess home the Home Alone games would count too, because they were definitely in New York. It hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. If he realizes that it is no longer possible and abandons that plan, he may opt to kill us immediately. Damn it! So we don't get a choice but to go with that bastard suggestion. But if we go into the palace as told, Z will get arrested and then murdered by Akechi. Palace. The palace. Actually, there's something I'd like to say regarding. Aha! We can use the palace to our advantage. What's this all of a sudden? There's a way. A way to get past Akechi and get the mastermind to lay off of us all while we're learning his identity. Really? You gotta be kidding. If he wants to kill Zidi, why not let him? That is, inside the palace. Yes, we could have him kill the cognitive Zidi, all the while believing he killed the real one. Yeah, that's it. It seems that our only option. Listen close, everyone. I can have a plan for how we can carry this operation out. very beginning correct me if i'm wrong but at the very beginning didn't like didn't ryuji bring in a gun to the to kamashita's palace and he's like yeah i have this gun he's like what and then he tries to shoot it but it doesn't work didn't that happen Exactly, Darkling. Joker the Live? Yes. But this is actually a mem- We're actually looking at a memory right now. We're getting back to the present. Uh... <sighs> he just respawned! <laughs> Ever since the death of their because teenage Alice. leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. However, the police intend on continuing this investigation until the case is fully solved. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? Waiting upstairs. 
Go tell him to come on down. I'm gonna fetch him. You're... her sister, correct? Makoto told me everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Futaba-chan, I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. I appreciate the apology. Uh, it's ancient history now. Man, that goddamn detective. Look who's here. We're alive! Hey, <laughs> you big bastard. Cry. How have you been? Ah, ancient history. I see what you did there, Futaba. <laughs> Oops. You're not floating. It truly is a relief to see your face. Is anybody else gonna cry or is this just a me thing? I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. Still, how'd you pull Magic. this off? Isn't this guy considered dead? You weren't told anything? Plausible deniability. I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. <laughs> Thanks. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. Hey, he's not dead! Good luck! Take care of him! You're like... <sighs> I didn't have time no, to see that. Hey, shouldn't we tell boss what yes! really happened? Yes! We should tell Dad. We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves and just was dead. Incredible. I, and I like how Dad didn't even second question it. Like, nothing, no second guesses, no questioning it. He just took care of us. What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. But I thought it... Wait. I thought if you died in the metaverse, you died in real life. But if the gun didn't actually kill him, because guns don't actually work, no one confirmed any of that. Ah. Hey, Jess, Merry Christmas to you as well, and Merry Christmas Eve, just in case. Um, candy covered noodle. Actually, it's funny because I am eating candy, so. Maybe Joker was just a projection of the metaverse? Ooh. Ooh! Now that's a good theory, Darkling, because I remember Futaba, Yusuke, and Makoto, they all went to the to the interrogation room. Oh, he bought a gun replica. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember. I thought he bought a real one. But okay. Cause I know they those three went to the to the interrogation room, so yeah, maybe it was a projection of a, oh, that's interesting. Oh, hold on a sec. Enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? The true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit. Rule number 22. When in doubt, know your way out. A shadow. That would be interesting. That's an interesting thought. All right, Riss. You be super uber safe going to your families. I will see you a little bit later. You have a good one. I see. So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. He made one fatal mistake. Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the Would real Would you have leaved us? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? 
True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Poor dad. Uh, but so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. You mean our cat? He's an art cat! Oh. Yeah, he can talk. Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, <laughs> Poor dad. Sorry, was that supposed no. to be a joke? Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. You surprised? Does that mean he said something just now? Yeah, whatever well? he meows, he's talking. But you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. It's a change in cognition, most likely. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. Lame acting my ass, he's a pretty damn good actor. Cause we all believed him! When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. Oh, I know a place! I wanna go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here! Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Mmm, pancakes. I think my ass got so excited about the pancakes that I forgot to actually look at that, um... Oh yeah, 100% I would notice. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. That is what I didn't pick up on. Because I wasn't paying attention, I just got excited about pancakes. I was like, ooh, that sounds really good, I want pancakes, so I never picked up on it. That meant Akechi'd already been in the metaverse by then. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. Oh, 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 oh! No, so you're used to knowing Morgana can talk that you forget that Mor Morgana was the one talking. Oh, I get you, I get you, I get you. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, Darkling, exactly. We got lucky. That said, we weren't so naive to overlook something like that. Well, I was, I was hungry for pancakes. That's why we asked Batabachan to wiretap his phone. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. That's why she did it! I thought she was just being a little nerd. Even being that excited. Ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Futaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act! After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? No, we made it up, Dad. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Well then, I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus.
Thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. Oh! <laughs> Jess, I love this! <laughs> I gotta give the K's Christmas presents. There's a few that say, too stinky butt from Santa. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! No, we made it up, Dad. <laughs> For real? No, we made it up. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. Anatomy? I have not played any of the other Persona games yet. We baited Akechi into this palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think uh, he killed him. I haven't played any of the other Persona games yet. Um, I do have Persona 5 Strikers on Steam, and then Persona 4, and then I'm trying to get my hands on the other Personas, because I think I can buy them on the PlayStation 3, um... Hi, Anatomy. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it so much. Um, I can buy it, but I, I want to play them all because I, I, I'm really enjoying them. And then I want to do the Shin Megami Tensei games. Um, is Strikers a continuation of 5? I do believe so, Anatomy. I do believe so. But it's a little bit different to what normally is like Persona 5. Um in regards of like fighting style because like you know this one's like turn based where Persona 5 Strikers is more like open action to where you know you just you know mash X or something and you just you know fight them kind of thing um, instead of doing turn based so can you elaborate on that in more detail what exactly happened in my cognitive world? Have you played any of the Persona games, Anatomy? We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. Because I, weirdly enough, I actually watched the anime because I heard it was, I had watched a friend play part of the game. And I was like, ooh, this looks really good. And, and then I found out that there was an anime, so I decided to watch the anime because I was like, when am I going to get the game, you know, soon? And so I watched it, and then when PlayStation, Sony was all like, hey, we're gonna shut down the PS3 servers, I went and spent like $80 on games, and they're like, lols, JK, we're not shutting it down. I'm like, thank you. So now we have this, and it was a game redemption, so. Yeah, $80 on games, because Sony was like, yeah, we're gonna shut down our PlayStation 3 network, and I'm like, I haven't bought any games yet, though. So I bought, like, a bunch of, like, PlayStation Classic games and then this game. So there's a couple other games I think I'd like to buy. Uh, but I can get them, like, physically instead of digitally. So there's only a couple more digital games I think I'd want to buy. Like Parasite Eve and what stuff. What conditions? First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. And that's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Oh. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. That brings back memories. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. 
We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoda brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. And that's why I think I was so adamant on being like, show him the phone. Show him the phone kind of thing, because we sent him in. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. Yeah, it's good we have her heading up our operations. Really Makoto is normally so calm as well. But once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. Yeah, so I talk, technically sent him in. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the phone? Yeah. But I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target. Now, Anatomy, I've been, like, I've been reading this game and I've been kind of learning this game because it is, it's, 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 it's a lot to take in. But yeah, apparently only one, only, wait, only one choice matters? Wait, what? It just depends on, like, your choices matter to a sense of, like, say you're hanging out with one of your friends, um, and, like, you could be, like, nice, you could be, eh, you could be mad about the situation, and then you can be mean. I'd say mean, but it's not. It's like three, two, one. So like you get like three points towards like your friendship, two points towards your friendship, or one point for your friendship, or maybe none when it comes to like those, if that's what you're meaning. But in like a sense of whether or not it changes the gameplay. Really? Uh... Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so the two there's two main choices in the game. Yeah, like it affects end game. Yeah, I think that's like the biggest main choice cuz it's like you never know. Thank you for clearing that up, Darkling, cuz I wasn't sure about that either. I thought the choices actually did matter. Oh, okay. I'm glad I saved where I saved so I could actually go back and like change change it if I wanted to and get the bad ending for I'm because I'm sure there's an achievement for it screw friends walls the reason I joined the phantom thieves was to heal your heart after all oh the deal thing. Okay, okay. I didn't realize those were, like, the two biggest choices. Because I was going through the entire game wondering, like, am I fucking up the ending? Am I choosing things wrong? What am I doing? Kind of thing. So, that's kind of cool. You were going to the good ending? Oh, thank God. I'm glad that you Googled it. Because I was sitting here, like, the whole time going, I'm, I know I'm fucking this up. I've got to be fucking it up. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location, I take it you use the data from my laptop? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. Luckily, I have the mentality of a leader doesn't sell out their pack. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. Who drew that? First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make. I it think she is actually proud of her sister too, yeah. 100%. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the metaverse's interrogation room. Since he had yet to be caught though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. 
Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from actual living people. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping it catchy in the dark. That's why you had to see him first. That makes sense, okay. She was convinced that that one was the real one. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. No, no. What is wrong with his eyes? <laughs> and so it's like the it's like he showed himself to the guards to be like it's like and then he disappeared but <laughs> So I saw the real one. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, let me, let me get this back. There we go. I couldn't help it. I had to show you the eyes. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. That was all in That's what I thought. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. Yeah, we're smarter than high school. I mean, we should all just be working in the detective agency at this point. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. <gasps> oh! Oh! Okay, I see what you're saying now. Okay, okay. That's why Saw A was the one that had to get him into the, the the metaverse was because we were technically in her palace. Okay. Oh, I get you. I get you. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. How did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation? Oh, here we go. All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> it seemed like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. <laughs> That's wrong. Asking her about it now would drag the conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. Had she disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious? It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Ah, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. I die. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. So in other words, I've been to the metaverse, albeit for a brief moment. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace. So I was time. right. Okay, so she didn't enter her own palace, and then she went and got a catchy and had him enter her palace, and then so her cognitive was that she saw 
Joker. He was perfectly normal and fine there, or so we thought. And then when he answered, that's what he saw was the real Joker. And then, but it wasn't, and it was actually his fake. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm caught up. Plus, the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. I this game is so good with the storytelling. It's just like you're like, oh. you know, like there's always that oh, kind of moment. Like it's always got you going. Like it's it's so good. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. That's what that was. Okay. I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. Astounding. So when she went back in, she found the real Joker alive, and she took him out of there. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. That would explain why the hell he doesn't look beat to shit, yeah. That's an interesting thought, Cactus. For this game, for this game though, there's actually like a real like actual like reason behind why there's teens. Um, just because it's kind of like, um, teens just bite as they're smart. Cause like each one of these were like I don't know how to say it. I'm trying to think of the words and they're like escaping me, but like um Like rebels. And they were all considered rebels because they're going they were going against like an authority figure in in a sense. Yeah, the people buying this game are mostly teenagers, yeah. glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation Same. even though we knew Akechi's plan we were pretty thanks for having my that. back <laughs> true why is that without sis on our side Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible that persuasion was easily our greatest gamble yeah I mean, you could have easily done it to say, like, as adults, they were rebels against their own authority figures, but I feel like it would just, it resonates with more of the, um, the demographic that they're wanting, kind of thing. Obviously, you know, they have teens that are, that it resonates with, and that's where it, you know, a lot of their money comes from. You're a rebel? I was thinking of three days long. She's a rebel. She's a saint. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a yeah, short time. No. Were you confident you could do I it? I feel like, yeah, I, I, I agree, Darkman. I don't think the story would, would work as well. I don't think it would be... Well, I think a lot of the shit they would say and stuff like that, it would have gotten the game canceled a long time ago. It wouldn't be as, like, beloved and iconic as it is, like, the Persona series in general. It would definitely probably have been canceled. Vigilante! Which is why the scene say I want to be treated like an adult, yeah. Don't remember, drugs. Understandable. Yeah. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risk. Didn't have idea. a choice. If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater evil to pursue. Dad, can you make some curry? I'm As a result, we emerged victorious. 
Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yes. Plus, you had lost control of yourself at the time. Any plans for Christmas tomorrow? Um, not 100% sure yet. Just because, you know, with everything kind of going on, um, trying to just take it day by day kind of thing. Um, but I did get some really cool, like, early Christmas presents. Um, my dad got me this. Super Mario 3D World. Um, and then my grandma got me this. And then I got, ooh, a controller for my Switch. I got a poop ton of Pokemon cards. Like, a poop ton of Pokemon cards. Um, I got some presents. I also got Harry Potter and the and the Deathly Hollows Part One. I got that. Oh, and then I also bought Twilight Princess, DK sixty four, and Paper Mario on the Wii U. Um, and I got Luigi's Mansion three. And then um, what was the other thing I got? Um, and then like I don't know. Oh wait, I want to get Cap the Captain Toad game as well. Okay, I'm off to get ready. Spending my Christmas in hospital. Fingers crossed. Prayers. Good vibes. Good thoughts. Anything you need, Jess, I'm sending them your way. Please be safe. And hopefully they have some nice Christmas food for when you wake up. I find it way easier than the controllers that come with the Switch. Um... Yeah, I, because just some of the games I feel like would be just easier with, like, like with Breath of the Wild. Like, I don't want to play that game with just the Joy-Cons. I want to play it with an actual controller. Can you sign them? See you on this other side. All right, Jess, you be safe. Um, let me see if I can find one off the top. Ow. I'll sign these and then send them off. But, um, what I want to do, um, Cactus, is that actually, let me see if I can find it. Oh, it doesn't know. See, like this one. I have to sneeze. So, like, my Galarian Meowth that I have, so I have, like, doubles of this one. So what I would like to do would be, like, I'd want to paint it. Like, do a full art paint of it, because it's a, it's a duplicate. Uh, as long as it's not rare, obviously, but, like, I want to, like, paint it, like, a horror kind of thing, or, like, turn it into a zombie or something like that, and then, like, do full art, and then, um, and then send it off. Do, you, like, either, I want to do, like, a redemption for your points, um, specifically if you want, like, a specific Pokemon, or I want to do, like, just, like, a random giveaway, and I'll paint it, and then, yes, I will sign it, and then I'll send it off. Oh, Breath of the Wild is way better with control. Yeah, that's kind of why I bought it. Because I know we're not going to get to Breath of the Wild for a while. For a bit. I don't think until maybe, probably until Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. So that'll be fine. But the hardest thing is not being able to eat today. I would be so hangy. I'd be like, no one talk to me. And pray that you guys have food when I come out. Because I'm going to be so pissy. <laughs> is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. So I don't mind sending off like um like signs, like energy cards, like that's not a big deal. You can get those a dime a dozen. Or like, you know, like the painted ones, but I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. Good job, Dad. But what did you do about the body? It disappeared. The police never even checked it. They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. The bad guys have that much influence? Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. 
We also knew of a possible conspirator. Thanks to Futabachan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. I know! I kind of feel like Sojiro, though. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as Akechi planned. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Nijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. I could not uh catch this. Uh uh. I could not bring myself to like sign a Charizard. Hell no. Those things are fucking so much money. Hey, what the fish doing? What you do? What you up to today? Thinking back to the interrogation though. I can't believe what they did. Because I'm hoping to see my boyfriend for Christmas. Because I want to give him some of his presents. One of his presents is stuck in China in customs right now, so. But it's okay. I got him a gift card for some food. Hopefully, he's not here to hear that. The callous use of violence and even drugs is utterly abnormal. If he had lost consciousness and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, he would have died. You can sign mine because it doesn't exist. Oh my god. I would have if I if I pulled the Charizard, I'd probably sell it like immediately. I'm truly glad you made it back safe. Like, we can't just say thanks and be done for the I day. I almost became one of your assailants as well. It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. So, Fish, have you ever played this game before? Maybe there's another reason Joker doesn't look beat up because, yeah. I feel like you read ahead on Google. I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against. Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Can it, cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. Ah, oh, okay. I'm just guessing he cleaned up or something, or like using makeup or, you know, yeah. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring. Is that you why do you think is that why Joker never talks? Like, there's only a few instances where like the real Joker talks. But realizing that that Joker was just like part of the meta, like his whole time, do you, do you, do you think that it was actually like that's why he never talked? Because he would have sounded like you know, I don't know if he would have sounded like himself though, or if that was if I'm just reading too much into it. Like, I'm, cause I'm well, I was I was thinking about it. It was like, um, like if he was like a. Um, Like, one of the monsters that look like Joker, I guess to say. No, yeah, J Joker's definitely a person. I was just wondering if it was just kind of like, you know, like, it was a monster. But then I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. And I realized after I said it. And I'm like, no, never mind. It would been a cool theory, though. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain Mood, Sajiro. Cool. Mood. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together and talk. 
You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word and I'll call Aww, shopper. thanks, Dad. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Let us accept his offer. I know, Dad is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I just was trying to make more out of it, I think. I go to try to make more out of it. That sounds familiar. Oh, Makes I didn't know sense. you were gonna talk. Sorry. It's me, Akechi. Enter. That's the death certificate of principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? No, nothing in particular. More importantly, you've done well with regard to the prosecutors. The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the Phantom Thieves interrogation room, too. The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom Thieves. I still like my head cannon of Death Joker. Have I heard this head cannon? All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. <laughs> Can you talk about okay, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I think I've heard this one. Hey Meg, how are you doing today? And on to our next story. The snap election for the House of Representatives. Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy announcement nears. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in them yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? Well, the Phantom Thieves are back together. We can finally take it to Akechi and the bastard back in him. Have you figured out who's behind no. all this? Akechi accidentally let that slip Now we murder. have, yes. He said, Shido-san. <gasps> ah, okay. I like that concept, Darkling. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good, Meg. Doing a short stream today because, um, what was it? This game... So yesterday I beat like a really big boss in this game and then like I was kind of reading through the end of the guide that was kind of helping me through the boss. Helping me. That freaking guy didn't give shit. But somebody in the guide was like, yeah, so for like the next hour to hour and a half or so, you're going to be watching cutscenes and just dialogue. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So we'll do that for Christmas Eve because I'd already been going for like five hours and how much I wanted to do it, there was no way. That would have been a seven hour stream yesterday. Um, hell no, I can't, I can't do that long. And, uh, so I figured we'd do it today. Shido. It feels like I heard that We song. have! He is unmistakably yeah, I knew a it too. Okay. power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Masayoshi Shido? Y'all say things wrong. Yeah, just accidental 12 hour stream. I could have yesterday. I was so into the game yesterday. Oh my god. Uh, who? I believe he's a politician. Remember Ryuji? You said his speech was too loud. For real? Good job. It's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. 
Do you have some kind of evidence? I would have been so hangry. I would have had to eat my second breakfast burrito. Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> Shido, huh? What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this. Just based on the connections I had from my previous... Ooh, but y'all learn about Dad's past now. I th think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shio. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I could do. So I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. I would never have imagined all of this was connected. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves. Literally actions. sounds like a big ass conspiracy theory. Huh, how about that? Way back when, Shido kept saying he was going to be prime minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes the prime front? minister? What about the world? The issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. We gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like always. I still want to run Morgana's tummy. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for prime minister. Masayoshi? Hit. Well, duh. It ain't a surprise he has one. Where would the location be? What kind of things go through a politician's head? Bruh, no one's gonna go there. <laughs> I always think of dirty money and shady actions. I think of a lot of stuff too. What does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this Yoshi. guy's life. Yoshi! Yoshi! There we go. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? Talk about small scale. Perhaps it's the diet building? And I was supposed to know what the hell the diet building was because... Bitch, I didn't know. I thought... <laughs> I... <laughs> I thought the diet building was... <laughs> I didn't go on a diet. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know. How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the diet? <laughs> I thought he had to go on a diet. <laughs> I thought it was like a weight loss area. <laughs> I didn't know. Our next target's the big shot politician, Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna put myself in a box. Don't look. Hell yeah! Nobody against it? Uh, of course. 
He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. <gasps> you learned how to make amiibos today? Oh, nicely done, Meg. That's so cool. So that's the app that allowed me to oh. enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this I feel like Sajiro right now. We'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. That's my boyfriend's birthday. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. That reminds me. What are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. You had the coin kind from Amazon and now you're obsessed? Yes. Do you plan on like doing like Etsy stuff for them or are you just gonna use them for, for like you? Our leader who is presumed dead will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this. Yeah, again, too? we're smarter than we should be. We're intellectuals, you know. Ironically, coming from you. That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. <laughs> what frightening teenagers. But the true battle has only just begun. We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah. This ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. I thought about selling them on Etsy, but then I'd have to make them look cute. Yeah, I mean, there's like, there's a couple ways you can do it. You know, you could like draw on them. You could get stickers and put them on them. Um, you can just do some fancy like um, font work, stuff like that. Or you could just sell them, you know, just whatever people will buy them no matter what back then you were in the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy I don't say the word like that because of that those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal to think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown? And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. Yeah, so apparently Ketchy's just been crazy since the beginning, yeah, pretty much. Which makes me think that it's like, why kill a train conductor?
Did the train conductor see something he wasn't supposed to? Like, I'm curious about why certain people shutdowns happen, like mental shutdowns happen. Like, obviously we know some why others happen, but some of the lesser known people, like like the train conductor, for instance, like why was his shutdown? It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. He is just like Yagami. Yep, agreed. He's just like Yagami. That's what it is. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. I have to do stickers because I can't draw. I mean, you can do stickers. My ideals are right, and it doesn't matter who I have to kill in order to fulfill them. Yup. Astounding, isn't Government. it? Government. To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. This country's affairs have become stagnant. The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals. Which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic Ace Detective was born. I'm waiting for Shido to shoot a catchy, to be honest. Ooh. That would be a plot twist, kind Thanks of. Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators he is. from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Yeah. Popularity no, he's standing up. Beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up. And they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> the time has finally come. Just a little more, and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some sacrifices can't I be I agree, May. He's a creep. 
That is I'm... my duty as the chosen one. We'll get to that in a second. But he really is a creep, though, because he was like, at the very beginning, he's the reason why we got sent away to where we are now with Sh Shijiro. And uh, dad, as I call him. Um, because this man, bald one, was hitting on some woman, and we stepped in and be like, dude, no means no. And he pretended that we hit him. Um, and so we got, we got, like, arrested. Welcome to the main villain. As the chosen one. What is this, Harry Potter? Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. Oh no! A catchy showed him his back! Become known across the country. Perhaps even the world. Oh no. Guys, he's gonna shoot a catchy in the back. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. Guess he won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This will be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. I still have like three books I have to finish. And we'll have all the time to come up and with the plans together. Games. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido one, one way or the way other. way or another, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I know, why is it easier said than done? I'm going to stay with you until the very okay, end. Okay, he might be a little queepy cat sometimes, but he is precious sometimes. Well, uh, how do I put this? Looks like things have finally settled down. Life's gonna get real busy for you starting tomorrow, right? Get some rest. She's right, looks at the hay. Oh, ah! <laughs> you got the, got the Try a little, little dimness. Chicks did that kind of crap. And that. That is where we're ending today's stream. I know it was a shorter stream and whatnot, but uh, I'd love to keep playing, but um, I figured it, it took us two and a half hours to get through all of the um, all of the cutscenes and the dialogue, so I find that insane. But I did want to just do a short stream today so we can get kind of through that. Yeah, you can request a raid. Toffinated is live? Okay, let me, let me get to... I think I'm following them. Let me, let me, let me get to their name. Oh my gosh, yes. I think it would be actually really good to raid them. Yeah, we'll raid Toffinated. If you guys could copy and paste this message. Um, we are gonna go raid Toffinated. They are actually playing Animal Crossing. I don't know how to spell their name. And they're actually doing Toy Day, Toy Day and Japanese City Core. So I figured that would probably be good. So yeah, we can do that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out for the lurks, the chats, the bits, the hosts, the raids, the follows, the subs, the resubs, the gifted subs. You guys are truly incredible. Um, mods, I will be doing something for you guys as well. 
um, later tonight. I just have to remember to do it. <laughs> um, but thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, my first week back is, 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 is completed, so that's good. Um, I will see you guys on, uh, Monday. We'll have a chance, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday with more Beyond Two Souls. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I will see you guys next time. Y'all come back now here. Y'all have a good one, and let's go raid!